Section 1.2, sums and products. We start with a sigma notation. Please take a look at this. By this symbol, we mean the following. AM plus AM plus one plus and so on plus AM. So, subscript, which is K, starts from M. The biggest value is N. Sigma stands for plus. So, if K is equal to M, we have a M. It's exactly what is written here. Plus, here we put plus. Next integer after M is M plus one. A, M plus one. Again, sigma stands for plus. We put plus again. And so on. Biggest value of the subscript is N. Plus A, N. For example, this is equal to A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4. Because the subscript K is running from one to four. Here, K is running from three to seven. B3 plus B4 plus and so on plus B7. So do not confuse this with a sequence. B3 comma, B4 comma, B5 comma, and so on. This is a sequence. What we see in front of us here is a sum. B3 plus, B4 plus, B5 plus, B6 plus, B7. Sometimes we start with a negative subscript. This means the following. B subscript negative three plus B subscript negative two plus and so on plus B seven. Now, please take a look at this pure numerical example. Each term is equal to two. So the value of AK or BK does not change. Each time it is two. How many times do we add two with itself? Five, because K is running from one to five. The answer is 10. Here, instead of two, we have negative two and we start with three. How many times do we add negative two with itself? Three times. For k is equal to three, we have negative two. For k is equal to four, we have negative two. And for k is equal to five, we have negative two. The answer is negative six. This example, k is from one to four, the general term is k. So if k is one, we have one. If k is two, we have two. If k is three, we have three. If k is four, we have four. The answer is 10. Here, k is from one to three, but the general term is k minus one squared. So if k is one, this is equal to zero squared. If k is two, this is equal to one squared. If k is three, this is equal to two square. We add up all these numbers, the answer is five. Here, we add together the following terms, two K square plus one. If you plug in three here, you get 19. Then you plug in four, two times four square. Four square is 16 times two, 32 plus one, 33, and so on. If K is seven, we multiply 49 by two, 98 plus one, 99. 
we add up, we do arithmetic, 275. Or here, we have alternating signs. So if you compare this and this, similar thing. But here we have minus, here minus, and here minus because of this part. We do arithmetic, negative 63. Last example, k is from two to four. We add up the following terms, one over two to k's power. If k is equal to two, we have one over two squared. If k is equal to three, we have one over two cubed. If k is equal to four, we have one over two to fourth power. We add up, we do arithmetic, seven over 16. Now we have the opposite question. We have the sum of several terms. Write this using summation notation. How do we do it? Now guys, we have infinitely many possibilities. Here we have three out of infinitely many possibilities. Of course, question is, how do we come up with top and bottom? In other words, this exercise is even more complicated than the examples that we discussed at the end of the previous section. Step one, we have to guess the general formula for tops and for bottoms. And then in addition, we have to attach sigma. So here on the top and on the bottom, we have an arithmetic sequence. Since the difference between any two consecutive terms is one, we put here k, k times one. And then let me start actually with this. If you put here k, if you choose to put here k, then on the bottom we put k plus one. But now it's time to come up with these two numbers. Since we start with two, k is two. Since the biggest value of the top is five, here five. However, if for some reason we want to start with say one, we have to adjust top and bottom. If k is from one, biggest value of k is four, top is k plus one, bottom is k plus two. Or if we start with zero, top is three. Over here, k plus two, over here, k plus three. We have the sum of fourth powers of consecutive integers, starting from three. So once again, here we have two out of infinitely many possibilities. Either we put here k to fourth power, but k starts from three, biggest value is eight. Or if we want to start with one, biggest value is six, k plus two to fourth power. Here, we have alternating signs. In order to come up with this, either we multiply k to fifth power to negative one to k plus one, because if k is three, this is positive. Or if we want to start with one, again, negative one to k plus one, times k plus two to fifth power. If we start with two, we put here negative one to k power and so on. Here, this example, a to k power, k from one to six. Guys, anybody, how do we write this using summation notation? Uh, it would be like the previous one, except um, you have a coefficient of negative one to the power of k plus one. 
Absolutely. We multiply this by negative one to the power k plus one. Why k plus one, not k? Because even terms, uh, sorry, odd terms need to be positive. So if so, the exponent has to be even. So you add one to k. Yes. Yeah, so since we start with one, we if we raise negative one to k power. Term number one will be with a negative sign, right? Yes. Since here positive sign, we multiply a to k's power by negative one to k plus one. Now, over here, again, there are infinitely many possibilities. Here are two out of infinitely many possibilities. Either we start with zero, and then negative one to k's power, a to k's power. Always start with one, negative one to k plus one, a to k minus one. Here top is five, here top is six. Who can help me with this exercise, guys? Well, for the bottom one, you can see that you can split the product into two different um, uh, arithmetic type of uh, uh, increases such that 10, 11, 12, 13 can be just k plus 9 from, uh, from, one, to, uh, from 1 to 4. And uh, we can multiply that on the bottom by, uh, well, we see that 19, 21, 23, 25 is increasing by 2 each time. So it would be... 2k plus 9, 2k plus 17 uh, on the bottom as well. And on top, we can see that 65 minus 50 is going to be 15, 82 minus 65 is 17, and 101 minus 82 is going to be 19. So it goes in a pattern of 15, 17, 19. So we know it's going to be a geometric uh, type uh, increase as well. Excuse me, it's not geometric sequence. Okay, I see what you mean. Um, okay, I see it now. I'm basically mm -hmm. doing this on the fly, sorry. I see that the top number 50 is 49 plus 1. Perfect. So seven square plus one, 65 is eight square plus one, 82 is nine square plus one, and 101 is 10 square plus one. So it's going to be K plus, um, K, K plus six squared plus one on top. Yeah, we have basically, again, we have lots of possibilities, but observation is on the bottom, we have two arithmetic sequences. 10, 11, 12, 13. It's an arithmetic sequence. 19, 21, 23, 25. It's an arithmetic sequence. So we start with the coefficient in front of k. For sequence number one, the coefficient is one. We have here k. For sequence number two, the coefficient is two. Here we have two. In order to come up with these numbers, now there are infinitely many possibilities. It all depends on what is the initial value of k. For example, if we start with 7, here we have k plus 3, and here we have 2k plus 5. Top is k squared plus 1. Again, this is one out of infinitely many possibilities. Next, product notation. We denote the product AM times AM plus one times and so on AN by this. Product of all numbers from one to five can be denoted either by five factorial or by this. By this, we mean the following. The value of each term does not change, and we multiply two by itself 
five times because k is running from three to seven. What is written here is the following, two times two square times two q times two to fourth power times two to fifth power, which is two to the power 15.